Am I on frame? I don't know how I can tell. Oh, yeah, I... Mm, 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 that's gonna have to do. Welcome to I Talk About Anime Because I Like It. And today, I want to talk about Millionaire Detective Balance Unlimited. Because I love it. It is so good. Just look at my face. Thinking about it is making me smile. The fact that I'm just gonna go through this during this time when I... It's probably the worst time to be doing anything related to this due to a certain someone not knowing what didn't know what copyright was which is probably screwing over the whole reaction anime review community but i want to talk about anime because i like it and if you're here you like it too and i highly recommend this one okay so uh millionaire detective and balance unlimited is it's exactly <laughs> what it says there's this guy who's super rich he becomes a detective and he and he solves crimes by throwing money at people <laughs> or that's his way of solving crime of course he has a partner that is his opposite who's probably broke and wants to do things the right way because justice doesn't always work that way in his favor actually um let's go through this because there are some things i want to point out as in I, I can just point it out now why not so we have these two characters we have daisuke kambe or kambe daisuke i'll do that kambe daisuke who is the millionaire his balance is unlimited so he's a little bit beyond a millionaire he's a billionaire and then you have kato haru who is the typical rugged eh, he's not rugged he's a little dirty he's a typical cop that just wants to go in and do things the right way because justice and what i love seeing in this show is how they have different approaches but they still meet up if that makes sense it's more clear in the second episode how that works and there's also an example in the opening with them both just going up the stairs they're going towards the same goal but they have different ways of going about it and they probably arrive at different times but they still arrive at the same goal just different ways of going about it and of course when you have opposites it's just really really interesting but it's it's a show with a really ridiculous premise and it's so much fun just to sit back and watch it and this is it's just it's what i love about anime it's just brings in the crazy. I'm not going to do the whole episode because you can honestly watch this whole episode on Funimation right now. I was able to watch episode one without subscribing, so you should also be able to watch season one, episode one. I came, I saw, I sponsored. No subscription. Also, it was like $7.99 or $5.99 for a subscription. I don't really know, but my subscriptions are free, so just throwing that out there. He plays the piano. It's important, trust me. So that is something I missed in my first watch through where he says after a certain day, everything changed. Don't know what that certain day is. Pretty sure the first season is gonna focus on that. If you're gonna watch porn at work, at least be honest about it. And have everything on mute or plug in some headphones, man. <laughs> you gotta cover your tracks. I love how before he even meets him, he just doesn't like him at all. Just based on the guy's car. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's like destiny. Also, this guy, this guy, that guy, he's a piece of shit. <laughs> you will see why later. <laughs> Right there! Money isn't everything, it's about justice. My favorite scene is when they actually first meet. Because <laughs> Daisuke is such an asshole, I love it. But I feel like he's so unaware of being an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> It looks fine. Oh, never mind. Never mind. It didn't, didn't that. 
半兵衛大輔、oh、本日付で警視庁刑事部警部を拝命した And that is how they met Daisuke almost killed a mother and her child And then he blows smoke in Haru's face Kyusuke, 当会社の現在地は港区新橋の品川方面へ逃走中です勝ち時橋へ誘導しろパトカーなど警察車両も排除 Something I don't understand is why he wanted to get rid of the police cars in order to stop the bomb. When you want their backup, or is it that too many people will get in the way? Daisuke is weird. He has no problem with almost killing people. <laughs> He's interesting. We need to get more into him. We need more episodes to get more in into his character because I don't get him. I don't get him at all. Plot of the episode somebody planted a bomb to. Blow up the parade, and those two goons that were trying to get money or something got in the van with the bomb in and just drove away. And now Daisuke is chasing them down. <laughs> and that face, that face, that face he makes. What, what's. You see, that murder face. And with that murder face, he's gonna drop these two people into the river with the bomb. <laughs> This is why he sucks. He just <laughs> leaves her to die. And <laughs> you really just need to punch him in his neck. <laughs> Hey, you okay? I know I jumped out of a van that was gonna get thrown into the water that then blew up and I left you to die. <laughs> But sorry, I can't live without you. <laughs> God damn it. It's the guy that let me fall off the bridge. Screw that guy. So, a few things to wrap this up. What the hell is up with Daisuke? Do you think he's a psychopath? Because I, I need to know more about him to know his motivation and to understand the reasons for his actions. It's really shady right now. But I just, I need to know. I need to know a little bit more. Haru is a pretty, like, straight, straight, straight thing. I wonder if his sense of justice is going to. Get slightly skewed when working with Daisuke. That would be interesting to see. I'm pretty sure Haru's going to get challenged with his sense of justice. He doesn't like the way Daisuke does things with how he's going to be able to throw his money at everything. Haru's not going to like that. But I'm pretty sure over the course of the season, his mind is about, like, his views will shift slightly. They will change. I think he's going to be. Super stubborn, like his friend said, he's going to be stubborn. He's going to try to stick to it as much as he can, but then he's going to see that it's. He's not going to get the results that he needs for justice to prevail. Because I can't think of a better word. I use a really corny one. Something happened with Daisuke and his parents. He had a mother and a father until this certain day, which. They were probably killed or they disappeared or something. And then he also says it happened in Japan, which is why he's here as a detective, which is probably also why he's going. Maybe that's why. If, if it's a huge cover up, then he wouldn't want the police around, would he? And paying his way to get things done faster would be the best way for him to find out what happened to his parents, if that's the case. I don't know. That seems really typical. I like how they're going about it, which is really what matters in the story. Not what it is, but how you tell it. Haru is all about doing things the right way. Daisuke just wants to get shit done. Even though he almost killed two people, which I need to. I don't know what's, I don't know what's up with him. I need to. I need more. I need more. We need more episodes. That's all. That's it. First episode definitely grabbed my attention. I love the sound of it. The soundtrack's really fun. The character design's really nice. All in all, it's really something that is worth your time. So I highly recommend it. I say give it a shot. I'm going to end this video here. 
Tell me your predictions in the comments below. Let me know how you feel about the characters, the music. I love it. Is it Kanbe with an M or is it Kanbe with an N? I feel like I didn't say it differently. But which one is it? Who knows? It's real confusing, even though it's on the plane. But we'll, we'll ignore that. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next episode where we will talk about more anime.